In every relationship, there's a bull and a cow. It just so happens that in this relationship right here with me and you, I'm the bull. You're the cow. I wanted to do the movie with Jennifer Lopez because I, I wanted somebody who was had a big presence and because of what a big star she was in music and movies and the whole thing, I think she, she brings with her like a big presence. Although she's oddly not really like that in real life. And then I also knew because I had seen her do pieces of this kind of thing, I just didn't know interpersonally if we would get along or if she was going to be paying the ass or what the story was. And I was very surprised that it wasn't like that with her. Not very surprised, but please, pleasantly surprised. And so it was great all the way around. This movie was such specific characters. I think he's really great in the movie. He's really, I mean, you know, but he's not like that, that character at all. But for months while I worked with him, I thought that's who he was because he was <laughs> so in character all the time. So for me, it's really about the work that we did because the characters were so different than who we really are. You know, I heard you were a bit of a up. But I gotta tell you, I'm frankly amazed at how much of a up you actually are. I liked it because it, it, it posed to be a challenge for me, you know what I mean? I read it, there was like tons of monologues in it and it was like, wow, there's actually some juicy material here. The writing was really impressive and I really wanted to do it for that reason. One's first impulse is to kiss. What? Kiss the lips. Literally, I saw it in the editing room uh, the first time. Like, I did it, and I saw it as an actress. I read it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. This is, this is a great speech, and talking about men and women and their differences, and what's better and what's not, or whatever. And uh, I said, I'm really gonna go for it. I'm gonna learn the yoga, I'm gonna do this. And I did it, and it was great, you know, and then I saw it, and I wanted to die. I was like, this <laughs> is so embarrassing. Wait till daddy sees this, he's gonna have a fit. So I guess this is just my roundabout way of saying that it is women who are, in fact, the most desirable form. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. This is about gender roles and switching gender roles a little bit. Like when our characters do kind of hook up, she like wants to be kind of the traditional man in the relationship in a way. And it's about kind of turning that sort of thing on its head and re-examining what does it mean to like be in love with somebody? What does it mean to have this certain gender role? And it, it, kind of part and parcel with that is this, this notion that, you know, she's, uh, I guess she's sort of bisexual. I mean, she has been with guys at one time, but you know, she's mostly with women. And you know, I think there are people on each end of the spectrum, heterosexual, homosexual, who are very firm in their convictions. And I think there's like, I think sometimes it doesn't serve people's interest to talk about the more nebulous middle, but I think it exists. And that's, that's one of the interesting things about this movie. I'm sorry, I, I gotta ask. Do we know each other? Not yet. She's excellent in this. It's kind of like what she did in Out of Sight a little bit, but she kind of takes it a little further because there's more kind of inner exploration or whatever. It's, a, it's more about the characters' insights and stuff than what they do, and uh, she's great in it. She's wonderful. I'm proud of our performances in this movie because uh, I really feel like they're really, really well-developed characters that both of us kind of just stuck to and, and, and really followed the arc of the story. 